I'm Judd Taylor of the Hammond Organ Company, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about music and its place in your life. You know, for most of us these days, life is pretty hectic. Today's world is a busy world, hustling, bustling, always on the go. And it gets to be a pretty tense world, too, with stress and strains, people, problems, pressure on all sides, tension at every turn. Ours has been called the age of conformity, and maybe for a good reason. We usually do what the other guy does. It's easier to go along with the crowd, even when we might feel a little foolish doing so. Doing things en masse tends to make us fairly passive these days, too. Our recreation habits show the signs of our mass culture, with an emphasis on the kind of events we can just sit around and watch. But yet, even in the midst of all these external pressures, for millions of American families today, the home has come to be an increasingly important center for family activity. A thoughtful home represents the one place where the family can always be together, where they can enjoy the abundance that our way of life has brought. Of all the elements that make the home the center of family life, music is the most important. You can find transistor radios everywhere, and the growing popularity of FM and portable record players give evidence of the need for music in our daily lives. Yet there is a limit to just how much music we can passively absorb. After all, music should be something more than just a background for other activities. Music is participation. It's a dynamic, exciting, rewarding experience. And for family participation, nothing can compare with the family instrument, the Hammond organ. Now, at first glance, you might think that the organ is a very complicated looking instrument, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. One of the reasons that the organ looks so difficult is because it has a lot of devices built into it that actually make it easy to play. As a matter of fact, the organ is one of the easiest of all instruments to learn how to play. The main reason for this simplicity is sustained tone. When you press a key, any key, a beautiful tone is sounded until the key is released. The organ creates the sound, not the organist. It takes training and practice on any other instrument just to play one note well. But on the organ, the finest professional organist can't make this one note sound any better than a beginner can. That's why a beginner sounds professional right from the start. Now another reason it's so easy to play the Hammond organ is the method by which the volume is controlled. It's kind of like driving a car. When you want to go faster, you step on the gas pedal. On the organ, when you want to play louder or softer, you step on this pedal and press it down. We call it the expression pedal. Many people think the organ must be difficult because it has two keyboards. Not so at all. You see, the organ is much like an orchestra. In an orchestra, the melody might be played by a trumpet, while the rest of the orchestra plays nice and soft as a background or an accompaniment. Now on the organ, you can't play a trumpet loud and clear on one end of the manual, while you have soft violins at the other end, so they provided two keyboards. On the organ, the melody is played on the upper keyboard, loud and full. The accompaniment is played on the lower keyboard, soft and rich. There's even a third keyboard called the pedal board. It plays the bass notes, just like the bass fiddle in the orchestra. Even if you've never played a note before in your life, you and every member of your family can enjoy the thrill of creating music the very first time you sit down at the Hammond organ. Let's take a familiar song like Merrily We Roll Along to show you how really easy it is. You play the melody one finger at a time on the upper keyboard, just as the solo instrument plays the melody in the orchestra. We'll use this handy note finder so it's easy to find the notes. Now the accompaniment is played on the lower keyboard. We'll use this handy 
chord finder so that the beginner can immediately find the two chords to play. In this particular tune, we play a C and a G as an accompaniment, soft and rich. Then you add the bass by playing the pedal keyboard, and you add depth, body, and rhythm, just as a bass violin or tuba does for an orchestra. Notice the pedal markers, a big help for the beginner. As you can see, each of the three elements of the organ are quite easy in themselves. Putting them together isn't difficult at all. That was easy, wasn't it? You can sound exactly like that after your first 10 or 15 minutes at the organ. Now the difference between the organ and all other instruments lies in the fact that you can vary the tones. That's what all these controls do. Let you call upon the different instruments of the orchestra. You can get the sound you want when you want them. Thousands of different tones. That's the most fun in playing the organ. Touch a tab or change these exclusive drawbars, and even a beginning song takes on new excitement and flavor. Here's Merrily We Roll Along with a different sound. Do you like strings? Listen to this. Touch another tab, and you can make it sound like a beautiful church organ. Want a banjo with rhythm accompaniment? Just press a couple of more tabs. You can be playing like that in just a few short weeks, thanks to the new exclusive Hammond Organ course, which assures you of learning the fastest, easiest, best way possible. It's a revolutionary new concept in organ instruction, developed by teachers and professional music educators. There are four student manuals with a wealth of study materials programmed to answer all pertinent musical questions. There are memory cards, keyboard guides, pedal markers, everything the family needs to play and learn together, and everything you need to start you on a lifetime of musical pleasure. There's a comprehensive handbook, the appendix, with clear details about the fundamentals of music. Everything you need for a complete musical education on the Hammond organ. It covers all the material from the beginner to the more mature, advanced student. There are 100 specially arranged solo pieces with suggested registrations for all models of the Hammond organ. Depending upon your ability, interest, and application, you can be playing when the saints go marching in in about two weeks, like this. In about four weeks, you'll be playing Drink to Me Only with Thine Eyes, like this. And as you come to the conclusion of the first semester, in about six to eight weeks, you should be playing 
in the good old summertime with rhythm accompaniment. Like this. By the time you've finished the course in from six to eight months, you'll have a hundred songs in your repertoire and you'll be able to play each one in many different ways. Now as for the children's musical education, there's no more ideal instrument on which to start than the organ. Children gain a basic foundation in music that will last their entire lives because the organ is more like an orchestra than a single sounding instrument. And with all the variation of tone and expression at their fingertips, children seem to enjoy practicing. You're never too young or too old to enjoy the thrilling experience of creating your very own beautiful music, starting with the very first time you sit down at a Hammond. Your Hammond dealer has a complete line of instruments, ranging from this modestly priced compact spinet organ through this medium priced full-size console up to this beautiful deluxe home model. He'll help you decide which instrument is best suited to your musical needs and of course your budget. So why not let him bring music, Hammond organ music, into your life right now? Mm -hmm. 